I've been asked in the comments why the DJI Spark footage doesn't seem as smooth. Chris and Alan Tech here. Welcome, welcome to Alan Tech. I've been asked in the comments why the DJI Spark footage doesn't seem as smooth or jerky when reviewing, especially doing kind of strafing shots, you know, moving left to right or pans or one of these orbits. Uh, I did some digging. There are two main issues that I found out. It could be the software that you're editing on and how your computer reads it. As you know, the Spark shoots at 1080p 30. So 30 frames per second, I think it's 29.97. I've been looking on the forum, they've been saying like sometimes the frame rate is like 29.98. And so whatever interpolation it does in the software, especially if you, you're gonna reduce it in speed, then there could be so, that one decimal point or 0.01 decimal point could be causing that issue. But there's a workaround. Um, at least I found it thanks to some guys on the web. I'm gonna be uh, editing on iMovie. My my whole thing is keep everything simple. So I have iMovie on my MacBook Air. Again, these aren't high-powered machines. And yeah, let's dive into it. Let me know what you think. Uh, Tony Lorenzen, um, check this out. How to fix your iMovie? How to fix your iMovie and DJI Spark uh, jerky footage, as well as um, combination of them, and as well as uh, yet another solution. FPS projects. So I'm gonna combine all these tutorials. I just wanted to show you these two these two links because it helped me figure out what was going on. So how do you fix that and what do you do? People have been asking me what program I've been using to edit my videos. I use iMovie. So let me just boot that up real quick. And then as you can see, I'm gonna just drag you through the process of how to smooth out your DJI Spark footage. Again, this is just my workflow. I'm using version 10.1.1. You have to import something in that specific uh, frame rate that you wanna work at. If you know you're gonna be exporting in 24 frames per second, you need footage that has that frame rate. And similarly, if you're gonna be producing 30 frames per second, you need to uh, import and put that in the timeline first. And then you can remove it after so let me just demo that right now fps project properties uh he goes into this and uh, he provides these links i'll i'll put a link below on where you can access it uh, all credit goes to them as far as providing that information okay so guys so first let's go import in those two frame rates that i want to use i already have it under movies and as you can see it's 23.98 and 29.97 okay let's pull that in and then next would be the movie, the footage that I want to use. Let's go start a movie. So I go, I click on this plus, no theme because I'm just doing a demonstration for you guys. Um, stutter, jerky, test. Okay. And I think I'm going to edit in 20, 29.97. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to take a little bit of it. You can, uh, I'm basically holding down the mouse and just dragging and that's all I need. And then you can hit the plus button and it automatically puts it into here. Uh, it's going to export at this frame rate, 29.97. Okay, this is a good example here. This is about 10 seconds long. And let's just start from the beginning here. You basically drag your mouse and as you can see it goes back and forth. And if you push spacebar, it should play here and as you can see it's nice and smooth when you watch it here okay but if you double click on it it'll highlight the whole bar and if you kick plus it it takes the entire thing into uh, your playhead here and when I push play, you're gonna see kind of like a jerky movement. It's gonna to start to jerk for whatever reason. Like just watch the waves. It, you can. It's really odd that it does that. Again, let me. If I if I just push the playhead here, and play it. The waves are nice and smooth but if I play from the timeline that's down here you can see the jerkiness 
you can especially see it here it'll start to stutter um, and then when you export it it does the same thing too I know I think that's what you guys have been mentioning how do I get rid of jerky or stutterness Tony Lawrence and uh, did something really simple I'll leave a link below on that description first let's get rid of the original one that's here what you can do is just kind of uh, you go to the edge you'll see two arrows point and then you just drag it in maybe half a second or so and then on the other side too, pull it in maybe another half a second. Uh, what you guys are looking at here, you know, notice there's going to be a space. Whatever is highlighted is what, what will jump into your timeline when you push the plus button here. Just half a second on each side and then you push plus. Okay, right, right now this is just the, the clip version of this. And if I push space bar, it should be smooth again. Then I'm just going to do a quick export just to show you guys that the footage is fairly smooth. I'll leave all these samples for you guys below to take a look at, to play around with if you guys are moving with iMovie. Let me just double click on this again, highlight this whole thing so you can see that kind of, that kind of jerkiness that's going around here. Okay, So I'll export that as well. And I'll export as well. So that exported. Yeah, let's take a look at the footage. So all you saw, so let's just recap what happened. Basically, uh, I have the raw footage, which is this one, 10 seconds long. So you can see it's nice and smooth, no jerky movement or anything like that. Okay, so this next one here, this junk raw, what's happening here is that I just added this 29.97 to be at the 30 frames per second frame rate or keep it consistent. But also, let's see, um, I just imported whatever the raw was onto this timeline. So let's push play and you can see there's some jerky movement going on here. It's not the computer playback or anything like that. It's just what happens. I don't know if it's like exporting in. I, I'm actually not, I'm actually not sure, but it just, it causes that, and I'm 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 guessing that this is what people have been saying. They're being frustrated with iMovie and how it's exporting out uh, their raw footage. So what I did then, again for demonstration purposes here, this is the footage. I just shrank it, but half a second on both sides I think you can just do it on one side to be honest and I export it again and then I export it again which is this shutter jerky test again it has a 10 seconds in the front let's just go through that and then as you can see it's smooth again Okay, I hope that helps you guys out uh, as far as trying to get smooth out your uh, your uh, trying to get rid of all that stutter, unsmooth, jerky stuff that you've been kind of uh, getting from your DJI Spark. Again, it could just be the iMovie and the way it's interpolating the um, the footage from the DJI Spark. All right, guys. So hopefully, you guys learned something in this little tutorial that I showed you. Um, again, I went over how to edit the Spark to kind of. Re to more or less remove the stutter or stutter or jerkiness that you may have been witnessing on the footage. Take a look at it. Again, it's just clipping 0 0.5, 0 0.5 seconds or less in the front or the front and rear of the clips that you want. I'll leave a link below as far as the three different shots that I have. Um, one being the raw footage that you guys can download and see and edit, see what you guys find. And then the edited footage, uh, there's two versions that are edited. One is called junk. No editing has been placed. I just basically run the raw footage in and then export it out again. And then the next one is um, final, ba basically shortening the film in the beginning and end and then re-exporting it out. And that ended up uh, much, be much better and much clearer. 
Um, also in that link, I'm going to include these two keyframes if you are using iMovie, if you want to export in uh, 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second, uh, I'll include that in there. As well as the, the two guys I want to give credit to who's uh, helped me in finding the solution to this. I'd like to know if it helped you guys. Leave a comment below. I'm very interested to see if you guys are running into the same issue. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, for those of you guys who already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for the support. If this is your first time, please subscribe to my channel. Continue to tune in all the time, every time for new episodes. As always, fly safe and mahalo plenty.